Good morning, everyone. I'm Riley King, and welcome to my morning news report right here on the Riley King Network. Let's begin. Take a look at this photo right here. George Floyd protests spread nationwide. Let's begin. What you need to know. It's the eighth day of protests across the U.S. over the death of George Floyd, an unarmed black man at the hands of Minneapolis police. One former officer was charged with third-degree murder and manslaughter, but protesters argue it's not enough and other officers involved should be charged. President Trump vowed yesterday to deploy the military if widespread violence isn't quelled. Nearly half of the U.S. has activated the National Guard. Despite major cities around the country enhancing curfews, including New York and Washington, D.C., protesters are still taking to the streets and facing arrest. Expert hired by George Floyd's family and the county medical examiner have concluded his death was a homicide. China hopes the U.S. will take concrete measures against racial discrimination. China's Ministry of Foreign Affairs has again voiced its hope that the United States will take concrete measures against racial discrimination. Here are the latest developments from last night's protests. Take a look at some. Take a look at this photo right here. More protests happened last night, as you can see. Tuesday, yesterday, was the eighth consecutive day of protests across the United States over the death of George Floyd. On a national level, it was comparatively calmer than the violent flashes seen over the weekend and Monday. But despite the broadly peaceful nature of protests, a number of violent confrontations between police and protesters occurred in several major cities. Here are some of the biggest developments from last night. Military troops, the Pentagon confirmed that about 1,600 active duty troops had been moved from Fort Bragg in Fort Drum to the Washington, D.C. area to assist in civil authorities if needed. A spokesperson said it was just a planning measure and no active duty forces have been deployed in D.C. yet. National Guard Helicopter. The National Guard in Washington, D.C. said it was investigating the actions of at least one military helicopter Monday night, which was seen doing low-level passes over crowds of protesters. Washington, D.C. Protesters have been largely peaceful all day, but the night ended with a violent confrontation. Protesters 
through fireworks and projectiles at police from the other side of a fence, and police responded with pepper spray. New York protests. There were still some instances of looting on Tuesday, but nowhere near the widespread level seen on Monday night. There was scuffles in Chelsea, where some protesters were arrested and detained. A large group of protesters tried to cross the Manhattan Bridge from Brooklyn into Manhattan, but were stopped by police. After a tent standoff, protesters were allowed to leave the bridge and go back to Brooklyn. Los Angeles. A crowd of protesters stated outside the mayor's residence even hours after the curfew kicked in. Police eventually arrived to arrest protesters and bust them away from further processing, but the ent entire event was peaceful and calm, without much confrontation between the two groups. The LAPD said it arrested hundreds of protesters. Seattle unrest. Hundreds of protesters in Seattle stood in front of a police cordon Tuesday night with dozens near the front holding umbrellas to shield themselves from crowd control chemicals such as pepper spray. Early that night, the mayor extended the evening curfew through June 6. Police Pope calls death of George Floyd tragic and says racism is a sin. Pope Francis spoke out on Wednesday morning in the Vatican about the tragic death of George Floyd. The U.S. could see a second wave of COVID-19 infections because of the protests. U.S. Surgeon General Dr. warned the nation to expect new outbreaks of coronavirus resulting from the George Floyd protests that have seen thousands of people gather in close proximity. Demonstrators defined curfew, but there were few clashes and less chaos on Tuesday night. Peaceful demonstrations deferred curfews Tuesday night and remained on the streets of major U.S. cities of the eighth night of protests over George Floyd's but deaths, but there was less violence and few police crashes. In Philadelphia on Tuesday, protests culminated in a nine-minute moment of silence. In Los Angeles, a group of protesters knelt with their hands up in peace signs outside the home of the mayor's house as they waited to be arrested. In Atlanta, where days ago a police car was lit on fire, a large crowd marched peacefully through the same street. And in New York, after widespread looting and property damage on Monday night, protests on Tuesday looked completely different, the mayor said. There were some confrontations with police and protesters did clash in some cities, including Washington, D.C. and Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Outraged Facebook staff were unconvinced by Mark Zuckerberg's explanation for inaction. Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg is facing a rare public outrage from within his own company over inaction or incendiary remarks recently posted by President Donald Trump. And that is all the latest for you. 
on um, the George Floyd protests spread nationwide. Thank you for joining us for this morning news report, and be sure to stay with us for latest updates on all these developments. Enjoy your day, everyone, and I'll see you back here with more news reports later on today. Goodbye.